Hey everyone, this is Alex and today we will test the camlink at last. So what is camlink exactly? Well, it's going to be a solution so you can have better quality for your video in conference call. You know, people are working from home. Of course, you can use the camera from the laptop and you can use the phones and the speakers and the microphone from the laptop too. But what if you want to have a little bit more quality? And this is where this video will come up. So Camlink is one solution. I also made a video if you have a Canon compatible camera, which is mostly the more recent one. I'll put the link there or there. And if you already have a Canon, a recent Canon and a USB cable, you'll be able to do that too without the Camlink. But if you don't have a Canon, the Camlink is a really awesome product, I think. We're gonna test it. So this is going to be a more of a setup guide and in the next video we're going to compare different cameras. So I've put one camera here and I'm going to explain in the second video why this camera is actually not a good choice. A few requirements. Well obviously you need a camera and that camera needs to be able to connect with HDMI. So I have a HDMI here, the Camlink will connect with the HDMI cable and it's going to connect at a USB port on your computer. And obviously your camera needs to be able to connect on that HDMI. So this camera has a mini HDMI, this one too. So in the second video I'll compare, but for this one, HDMI is fine. If you want better audio, you're going to need some kind of microphone. I'm going to do it with a USB microphone here. You can use also the microphone integrated into your laptop. So you have video audio perfect one more thing about the hdmi port of your camera you need to be able to put it in a monitor state or monitor configuration so you won't have all the configuration of the machine of the camera all around right in other words you want a clean hdmi output and you want to be able to listen to people so for this laptop I have an audio jack you can either use this earbuds ear things, audio headsets, everything goes. Actually, there are some headsets which have headsets and microphone integrated. And sometimes they are wireless, sometimes they have a wire, sometimes they are USB. So I never plug this into the laptop. So we'll start with that. Let's plug it in. One other thing, you need Windows 10, of course. I'm not sure if it's compatible with Mac. Let me check. Ah, there it is. Camlink is compatible with Mac OS. 10.12 or Windows 10. So I've plugged in the cam link and I think it just auto discovered everything which is pretty much what the product says it does and basically it should be visible probably by Teams or any other software. You can use OBS for example if you're using a gaming setup but for conference Teams will, will see it. So let's plug in the camera. Let's of course open the camera. I just opened Teams. We're gonna go to the setup just to see if everything is all right. And basically click on your profile, settings, devices. Not sure if you're seeing the same thing as me. Oh, there it is. I see that Teams is actually using my camera, which is right here on the top of the laptop. I'm gonna check out. Ooh, so if you click on it, you see Camlink 4. So let's choose that. And I didn't even have to close Teams or anything. I just plugged in while Team was running. For pretty cool. Now there's nothing because that's not actually, I didn't press any button. So let's do that. So let's put it back. All right. So you can see and have a preview of what it is when you're actually using a camera that does not have any, how could I say that, no monitoring option. And that's kind of interesting that that camera actually has face tracking 12 years ago. So let's put it in a video mode that can work. So I'm in my menu right now of the camera. Some camera you actually need to go inside and configure them. So 
I'm going to go into the live view and this is pretty much all camera, right? So yeah, I'm going to remove the grid, but usually this, this should be an option just for monitoring. There's the face tracking, very useful. which type of movie you want. Usually default should be fine, especially for conference call. So I'm using 24 frames per second. And remember that you need to actually send all of this through the internet. So this should be pretty much awesome. So let's go into the video mode. Oh, I'm not there. Yeah, I, I need to be there. Seems to be working. Now you, here, you can still see some things here. Let's make those disappear too. I forgot about those. So this camera should be okay with this button. Oh, there we go, there we go. Not too bad for a 12 years old camera, right? I'm impressed. So depending on the camera you have, you can enable the face tracking or not, or you can put it at full automatic, so everything will be automatic, the light contrast and everything. So since it's manual right now, I'm gonna change a few things, just to see a little bit more the background. Once you have everything set up, I'm gonna put my ear so I can listen to my conference call. So go up here and make a test call. To test your call quality, record a short message after the beep. Then your message will be played back to you. Hey, I'm Alex and uh, I'm testing the microphone of the speakers of the that and you're gonna play it back right here right is that what's supposed to happen hey i'm alex and uh, i'm testing the microphone of the speakers of the if you're happy with so that was fast yeah I'll, I'll go back to device checking go to device checking i'm gonna plug this now so it's better if you have a microphone and you support it with an arm, the quality will be slightly better. And for example, if you click the mouse or a thing like that, or if you put your hand on the table, you won't actually hear that. But this is just a test, right? Houston, we have a problem. Well, that's funny. Since the cam link is pretty beefy, I have only two ports USB on that machine, and they're so close together that I can't plug the microphone, the USB microphone. So you'll have to check your ports if that's also applicable to you. So you saw it, it's working even with older cameras. You do need to be able to remove everything around. So this actually can be nice to people instead of seeing your settings like you saw. I'm gonna be set up with the cam link, pretty much plug and play. If you film something and it doesn't look good, you won't be able to have better quality with cam link, right? Cam link will not transform your camera into a greater camera. Subscribe for more of this content. Of course, part two, we're gonna compare that camera with that camera with that camera. And we're gonna see the quality of the images and the difference between generations. And remember that light is also very important. Those lights, if I look at them too much, I'm getting blind, for real. So subscribe for more or stay for extras for me trying to make it work. All right, so my camera, is open right now and we're going to try to take that HDMI signal going in here so yeah I do have my screen but that's not exactly what I want of course I want to add a capture device which is the cam link and uh, create a new so I'm gonna my, write down uh, cam link DMI to USB. By default, it's taking my camera that is right here. But we're gonna search for, well, cam link, which is here. Oh, I'm seeing weird things. Oh, wait, the autofocus is on, but it seems like it's not autofocusing, so I'm gonna do it manually. Much better, much better. Let's say you want to do a presentation or something, right? You could have your desktop and I would put the camera over it 
like so and like this I'm here I'm here so that's for streaming of course hopefully you found this video helpful it's pretty much plug and play with the cam link and if you want to have actually the USB version without the cam link so if you already have a recent Canon camera well you should go for that because it's integrated with the camera and it's well the USB cable will come in the box so check out the tutorial on that too take care guys subscribe for more it's free So this is going to be a video more about the setup of the setup. There's too much Wi-Fi here. I lost my internet connection. All right, I change the router. Let's continue. I'm stuck in a box.